the same property we are, but he's on the, the south end. So we're trying to spot some other bucks that we saw um, first night when we were scouting and then yesterday morning for him to go after. bucks that we were watching finally, finally laid down. They come out of this coulee and uh, are laying down this open sage flat. So don't know if we're gonna be able to make a move or not, but we're gonna go down, get a little closer look. We're a long ways off now. So we're gonna sneak over this next hill, see where they're at and see if we can make a move on. There's six of them, so it won't be easy, but never know. just spotted the bucks about like 150 yards so we're gonna drop back in this ditch and circle around and get underneath them where the uh, sage is a little thicker and we should be able to come up underneath them gonna have to side wind a little bit but I think it'll if it holds true we'll be fine He's gonna go down, he's going down. He's down. He went down. Oh, I can't believe that. Dude, my knees were shaking so bad. He got up, it was perfect. He ran closer to us, had no clue. Obviously did the trick, he's done right there. 150 yards away, crashed right there. Unbelievable. Montana is insane this year. Two stocks, two bucks. Oh yes, that is so awesome. He's awesome. What an awesome couple days we've had in Montana. Yeah. This is actually a buck that you guys spotted. Uh, First night when we were scouting. Yeah, night before opening day. He's with a group of five other bucks. 
they bedded in the weirdest spot, but it looked really flat from a long ways away, but we were able to make it work. He's got one brought down. Nice. <laughs> one of Great deer. Can't think of a better way to start this off after that brutal Utah trip. <laughs>